to the cloud. And we're recording. Um, great and glorious evening. This is Athena Starcy, and this is um, a star seed transmission. Thank you guys all for coming, those of you who are watching right now. Um, just to tell you a little tiny bit about myself before I start the channel is um, I basically was born and kind of had this idea that I felt like my family were in the heavens or the stars. And when I was little and I was like five years old, I used to go outside at night and I used to look underneath the heavens and I used to see the stars changing colors and blinking at me. And it made me feel so happy and so loved. And it helped me out so many different times in my life when I questioned who am I, why am I here, when I didn't get along with certain uh, people in my life or my, when I was struggling with my own family karma, I would go out and I would feel a lot of peace and tranquility um, with the stars. So I currently, in my everyday life, am a channel. And so I do intuitive readings and soul readings. And just recently, the last month, I've been doing a lot of meditating and I have been um, intuitively guided to start sharing some of these global messages on the starseed transmissions. So um, I'm gonna be doing this every single Monday evening and whatever comes up uh, that the beings want me to share, I am here as a tool, as a guide, as a friend, uh, as a student, um, and just as an emissary of light like we all are. So I just wanna call in the four uh, directions. So I'm just gonna welcome everybody to close their eyes and inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Keep your eyes closed. Keep breathing deep and open your heart. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men, let light return to earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men and women. May the Christ consciousness return to earth. In the center where the will of God is known, let the center guide the little wills of men and women, the center which the masters know and serve, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. May the plan of love, light, and power restore heaven on earth. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, Father Scott, Mother Earth, from the point of light that connects us all, please be here in the sacred circle of light. Allow me to be a clear channel. We're all involved. Amen and amen and amen. Greetings and salutations, beloved ones of earth. In here lies the map of all treasures within a child's heart. All fear is banished when we face the inner doors. Children of the light, come out and play. Children of the light, come out and play. Children of the light, come out and play. Play through the wilderness of your own adversity and your own doubts. Stand tall at the top of the trees where you see mountains and valleys and dragons and fairies fly. Stand tall into a new magical kingdom within every word dropping from every thought like lollipops. Imagine your own inner candy land as the meditations return you to the inner wonder of childhood the wish maker, the one who tames the lion and walks the golden brick road, the dreamer, the inner child. 
And as the inner child comes to say, come out and play with me, swing on every green bread tree, allow me to dance with thee. The child pulls our hair, come play with me, come play with me, come play with me. And the adult replies, no, busy, busy, busy like a bee. I cannot play, I cannot play with thee. And the inner child tugs at the heartstrings once again, come play, come play, come play with me. And the inner adult refines and defines and confines everything into its reality and says, no, 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 I'm too busy, I'm too busy, I'm too busy like a bee. Building honey, building honey, building honey, can't you see? I'm too busy, busy like a bee. And the child sits and sulks and eventually starts to cry. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why may I sit here? all alone in this I am I, this powerful grace on mountaintops and all the things that will help drop into your mind the ideas beyond this time to help you with your solutions on every dream, on every theme that you read in your own inner storybook. And the child says, come out, come out, come out and play with me. And then the adult thinks and ponders and wanders through the roads of all that one has traveled far only to reach its own inner sandbar and then trapped by the, its own island, isolated by the waters of doubt, it only remembers that it must return to the inner flight and start to sing and dance about for all of life this child prays that the adult comes back and wants to play. For in that play, the play reveals that all the characters that really, really feel add to the fool's pack that he carries on his back through the tarot, the royal path. And playing each and every archetype as he types his story rhymes, and just like fruit, it turns so ripe, like golden apples with wings to take flight. And as the apples eaten wisdom's taste remembers the inner child, the masks they face, the masks put on, the masks, the masks took off, just to see all life as dust. For before we know it, time so fast, we look through the blurry looking glass and then our life is gone of past. And we wonder why didn't this life really last? And the inner child sits upon their throne and says, come on, come on, come home. And as the stars start to blink out at night, the adult says, yes, I'll follow that wander light and stares up at the stars with lots of wonder in their heart and realizes their art is where they have to start. So puppet shows filled with poetry and dancing pros are all in thee. As we shake our spears on stages born from every word worshiped adorn, as we praise the inner God, goddess, we understand this is all a dress. Rehearsal not, though it is real, even though the dream within the dream might not appeal to those who feel the, the Give it to me again. For those who feel the, the, the shadows fright, all they have to do is sit up with all their might and understand there is no fight. For shadows dancing upon the throne will get us all to again come home. As Peter Pan had his shadow too, so together two by two, Realizing the shadow was here to pray, to play, to say each and every day, I am the dark, I am the light. 
I am the adult. I'm the inner child sight. The gratitude that comes, that flows through me, allows me to play and see the wonder as it be. So buzzy bees that are too busy to be free return to the inner child to weave a new womb of reality. And the star being say to you and to me, play, 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 play your best game in this reality. Take your five-year-old out and tap your way through the fear of every day. And as we do, we speak of fear, we understand it's really not real. For fear is just our greatest test to see if we'll quit, give up, go back and take a rest. But as we say, oh no, I'm here. I wanna play even more, my dear. I will not be afraid. I will not stay inside. I will not run and hide. I will remember whether low or high tide, I am still surfing this life. And all choices are, are like cherries I can pick from a tree and experience every single different reality. And I will not be afraid of the powers that be, that say little things that might infect me. A cough, a virus, a silly threat, Oh no, oh no, I bet, I bet that this is not for me or you. No, no, this is a fear virus and we know what it can do. It can go sink to the bottom of the ocean and be regenerated. Like a pearl with sand and turned into something that we can now understand because to face our fear and to cast a net of love we'll see the bounty and the abundance of treasures fallen from above. Because fear is one of our greatest gifts. To understand that it's best to lift up all the things we're afraid to see because underneath there's only you and me. For we live within a hologram as tiny and as grand as it is to understand, everything is everything and everything will always bring at the truest center, a love that rings. Rings so sweet like a symphony playing with Mozart or Bach or Handel. Let it free, let your music add to this holy verse for this universe has booked you first to play the hero's journey fair, the maiden, the Athena, the grand goddess, high priestess, oracle everywhere, the dancer, the poet, the dreamer, the dream, all wrapped in one beautiful theme that all the magic lies within. And that's all we have to do to win is remember, remember, remember. Remember, 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 remember to enter the center. And as that portal opens and starts to grow, our life churns and turns into the flow. And now our magic is ever present every day. We can see what we thought become a reality. And then we can say, oh yes, I thought that, I wrote that, I sang that, and here it is. And I understand that this is the business of being human in this color scheme of rainbow dreams so that we can see the unseen. From where? The nowhere, the prayer. The prayer and the nowhere bring it to the now here as we understand, my dear, that this fairy tale has happily ever ending afters, dot, dot, dot. Happily ever ending afters, dot, dot, dot. Happily, happily, happily ever ending afters with dreaming partners to accompany thee and beautiful narratives like little birds singing through the trees. So when we get very still and quiet, and breathe, will understand 
and we'll note the leaves. For within the leaves, the Buddha sat. And from that, he realized all of the truth. The truth that lies within each sigh, within each breath, to pass each test. There is no villain or enemy anywhere. There's just an experience to see this beautiful fair. It's like a carnival, everything. The ups and downs and rides of all. And all we have to do is rise each time we fall. And with that, a new four attitude that brings us forward in gratitude. And that crescendo expands out into infinity. And then all of the reality comes back and sits in me. The mirror reflects. The inner child projects. The adult contemplates. And all babies celebrate. So as we collect the them in us, the experiences we've had, as we drive our little bus, we can make more sense of the pennies that we count and understand all of life is here with us to teach us, to love us, to heal us, to experience us experiencing love. So inner children play and the stars really, really want to say, let go of fear, let go of fear, let go of fear today, let go of fear today. How? Play. Let go of fear today. How? Play. Let go of fear today. How? Play. Play. Literally figuratively, metaphorically, play, play, and play, play, and play, and play, and play, and play, and play, and play. Play your best life and watch all the fear dissolve and watch all the scenes that revolve, resolve into one holistic holy grail, one holistic holy grail, integrity, it's the light behind the veil. And as we see, this divine holy cross, our vertical alignment is the God in us. Our horizontal time from past, present, future to see is how we can hang on that cross like Jesus did and see clearly that the point within is where we intersect and that's where we direct our focus inside to see where we're investing in, not out. In, not out. Trust, not doubt. Unknown and known. Wisdom and experience. Patience and gratitude love and abundance and everything returns and everything returns and everything returns and everything returns like the wheel of fortune everything returns 
And as we are the inner child witnessing the play, we can be unattached to what the wheel does on any given day. We witness the wheel and we keep turning and we keep turning and we keep turning. And a win or lose, it matters not because what we experience, that's what we got. That's what we pack in our bag. That's what we take with us on the rest of our inner journey to return in wholeness coming from the heavenly dimensions, falling into the material plane, learning how to develop our psychic gifts to interface with this dimension, then our ascension is that spiritual return, is this holy triangle, this royal path of sacred geometry, the tree of life and the tree of wisdom, the two trees we climb through this reality, we get to know thyself. <laughs> sit with me inside a tiny grain of sand inhale you're in a golden cube Allow your body to receive golden light. Inhale. Exhale. Allow your inner child to have a beautiful, amazing golden tree house inside a beautiful portion of your heart. I'd like you to go visit your inner child right now. Sit inside your golden tree house and look at your little tiny inner child and ask her to come and play with you. Inhale. Ask him to come and play with you. Exhale. The child has a gift for you. The child has a gift for you. See the little child at five, handing you a beautiful gift. See what that gift is and reach out and accept the gift. Receive the gift and put it gently and softly into your heart chakra. The gift that will help you Move more into your goal and your soul purpose. Allow this gift to empower you. Allow this gift to enlighten you. Allow this gift to enbrighten you. By allowing this gift to dissolve in our heart chakras, we turn on our inner golden cellular light sitting in our little tiny golden grain of sand inside of our heart chakra, inside of our golden tree house. Let's thank our little child. Thank you, 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 thank you. And let's hug our inner child. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Let's rock our inner child. Receive the gift. Receive the gift. Now imagine your heart sending your inner child 11 golden hearts. And imagine our inner child sending us back 
11 golden hearts. Allow that opening and hug our child even more. Some of you already know why your child gave you the gift that you received. <laughs> I got a big golden storybook so I can write new stories, new fairy tales in my own inner reality and then watch them in my outer life. You too will remember why your child gave you this certain gift specifically to initiate an acceleration of your light body, your golden soul light body. Take a nice deep breath, seal the energy. Root lock, second chakra lock, chin lock. And exhale. Say goodbye to your inner child for now. Tell them you'll see them again soon at your next play date, your next meditation play date. And slowly come back into your body. <laughs> mm, magic. Magic. The magic of children, the magic of laughter, the magic of play. <laughs> Never underestimate the magic of play. Okay, roll your head. And roll it the other way. Come back into your body. Slowly open your eyes. All right, we're back, we're back. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about what I just experienced. And then I'd like to um, listen for some questions. So there's been a lot of fear in the dimension and I've been feeling it with all of the craziness with the propaganda and with the media and, you know, wearing masks and people getting sick. And I just want to remind everybody that love increases our immune system. Love protects our auric field and emanates more light. Love is the fire of transmutation. And how do we get to the highest oscillation of fanning our own flames of love within ourself? The inner child. The inner child allows us to take a break from the norm, from the mundane, from the um, social media craze. We're always on social media. We're always looking at the news. We're always looking at outside, outside things that are making us feel inside, inside things. And when we were children, we would imagine inside things and the inside things was ha have us feel things. And then we would take those feelings to the outside world. So we're, we're talking about two major dimensions right now. We're addressing the main issue this week that they want me to address, which is tell the beings of earth to not be so afraid, to turn up their love through the play of the inner child and remember that they have a lot more power they have a lot more power over what's happening with them, through them, as them, and to not get stuck on a virus. And I'm going to talk about viruses as the thought forms. A negative thought form comes in and you rerun it how many times if you're having 60,000 thoughts a day or more, and one person says something negative and you rerun that again and again and again and again. And before you know it, you're the boy in the plastic bubble 
and your inner child is so freaked out it can't even come out and and blow up a balloon and so the star beings were saying to me the key is in the play and the key in the play is that the playwright has control of the narrative and the key within the play that controls the narrative is the Shakespeare in all of us. The spear is the pen and the pen defines the page and the page becomes the sage in action when we remember that this is a frequency of love. This dimension is for love. No matter what, we respond with love. Said information comes in, responds love. Said information comes in, response, love. Said information comes in, response, love. Said information comes in, response, love. Love. Love, love, love. So if we go back to when we were children, no matter what happened, no matter what happened, no matter even how painful, we actually didn't very, uh, we didn't have a lot of um, grudges because we didn't hold negative feelings very long as children. We immediately forgave. In fact, there's a very beautiful play called Everything I Ever Learned, I Learned in Kindergarten. And when we read that, we remember play, this is what Rudolf Steiner says, play is children's work. Their job is to play. And we're all children. We're all children of the divine light. And when we play, we raise our frequency and then the narrative is everything is going our way. Everything's going our way when we play. So you can sing it in, you can write it in, you can dance it in, you can imagine it in, you can puppet show it in, you can swing it in. And yes, sometimes we do have to do those dramatic things like stop at a playground, even if you don't have a child and get on a swing and start singing your favorite childhood song. Your heart is a lighthouse your dreams are your holy grail your life is a treasure map to love your heart is a lighthouse your dreams are your holy grail your life is a treasure map to love to love, a little bird lands, to love your world. Tweet, 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 tweet. That's what we do. We play it in. And when we play it in, things change. Our feelings change. The gray clouds go away. The sun comes out. We start shifting narratives. And don't you know? that it actually puts you more into a state of coherence, right and left hemisphere, and the flow. The flow is on a childhood playing frequency. So if you notice ancient masters, as they get older, they, they start becoming really simple and humble and they're very childlike. They play a lot and they, they talk more like children. And if you notice that a lot of times they'll have like the grandma and the grandpa are always super magical with the children where the parents are still like, oh, they're kind of more uptight. But then you always have this cool grandma or grandpa that would sit you on the knee next to the fire and tell you some really cool stories and get you into your imagination. And no matter what happened that day, Let's say you got bullied or you got a bad grade or somebody hurt your feelings. You would sit on your grandpa's lap, sit by the fire, hear the beautiful story and off you went, off you went, off you went. So I want to return us to the fires of transmutation. And I'd like to burn up our adult ego on this very night. Let's just, let's just throw our little egos into the fire, throw it into the fire. Toss it in, you guys, toss your ego in. Toss it in, energetically, take your ego and say, in you go, in you go. And allow that fire, 
the fire sprite to birth you back a little inner child soul light and birth you back an inner child soul light and birth you back a little inner child soul light so light so light so light so light may you shine so very 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 bright <laughs> okay so no box wonder would you like to ask a question or do you have a comment because i think my conduit is now open for interpretation or questions you can unmute yourself I, I wanted to make the call, so I apologize. There's some background music where I am in this hotel, but oh, that was so beautiful, Athena. I cried my face off. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I want to. I want to listen to that as a bedtime story because it was just so perfect and beautiful about the joy of play and and children as our gurus. Um, let's see. It's hard to have questions after these because I feel so complete and you like, if I had any type of uh, constipation in my heart, like you completely like unclog it. <laughs> and you know, I was a little, I don't know if it's, I love that it's a full moon and I love, I, I just love that we went somewhere over the rainbow on this full moon. Um, so I, I feel like my heart is even open and any type of stickiness or crankiness I had just dissipated, was transmuted in your fire. Um, hang on, I'm, I'm, let me drop in for a second to feel a question. You know, I, I really love what you're bringing in with the frequency of love with the, the virus thought that's going around. And I, I feel like I'm more consistent, but I would say, you know, the sustainably, the same, the challenge of the sustainability of, of in these different, I don't know if you call them timelines with people, like you're in one world and you go into another world. And so, you know, whether you tell me to stand my, on my head, you know, I listen and follow through with all the things. So as, you know, like holding your light and holding that inner child as the world is turning around you with all like the, the fear and the phobia. Um, I, yeah, I, I feel so full. I guess the question is, how, how do you sustain that? even more is it always about coming back to play and just staying in our heart i feel honestly like i feel like i live in never never land and i and our reality is very different from everyone else's however the grounding part is key and so i um it often makes me feel very lonely um and yet that's an illusion because i'm not but the loneliness of feeling magical and hearing your conversations and uh, but that child in me wants a deeper, deeper connection of this, I guess, with people more sustainably, because I can be in this space for a long time. Does that make sense, what I'm trying to say? I guess the longing, the longing for a community and the longing for your playmates so that when you're on the swing, you can swing yourself, but it's so fun when you can be swinging with others. And there's a deep, I think, you know, there's a deep, longing that I have for more of that and it's not a sadness in the sense that I'm at a loss but it is it is like a loneliness anyway I don't know if that's a statement but so when you when you said all of your things it just felt like home you know it felt it's a reminder for all of us to remember our innocence and that verticality that you talked about um, and yeah it made me cry <laughs> <laughs> I still am. So, and, so I, yeah. Well, I want to just acknowledge when I 
when I feel your energy, I feel like the movie Enchanted. Have you seen that? It's the Cinderella story. Oh with yes, with Amy Adams. <laughs> you remind me of her. So you come, to, she comes to this wormhole and then she pops out in New York City and she brings her magic and wonder with her everywhere she goes. She does not conform. And I, I feel that that's your superpower. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Butterflies and rainbows. Um, and you know, it is, it's a nice reminder to have a superpower. You know, JP, in the seriousness of life, is a reminder of the joy of play because, you know, I have that brain of mine, but that part of me uh, actually is the, the greater essence. And so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I feel, I feel lonely a lot in in my <laughs> my exploration hello <laughs> somebody's at the door come in i'm in the middle of a, a thing i you have to go around that way <laughs> thanks so what i want to say to that is that we are intentionally here as star season light workers to Hold the field, hold the field when, I mean, you're gridded over in New York City and I'm gridded here in Los Angeles and reality's rolling along. And it reminds me, and the channel spoke to this, which is the um, wheel of fortune. That's the 10 in the tarot. That's like you're halfway there. When you wake up to the wheel, it's like, no matter what's happening, you still have to remain constant. You have to watch the wheel turn and be able to hold your vibration and your resonance. And the light, the light above says, so, as above, so below. The stars never go out. They never stop twinkling and dancing. They never stop their pixie dust. The fairies never stop being fairies. You see what I'm saying? They, they come in to this world and they're visible by the people that know the sense and the feeling of love because then it, it shifts the frequency and you can feel see and know them at the same time the people that don't they're perfect however we have to create that vibration so that it does create the alchemy so so like the alchemists that's what we are we bring that golden light into the field of fear doubt adversity politics religion do you see what I'm saying? Anything, everything, all the things. And how do we stay grounded and center even when we're playing alone? That's a great question. We have to have that communication with our inner child every day, every moment, like while we're driving and like start that communication. What would you like to listen to? Sometimes your inner child wants to listen to a song that you haven't listened to in years. What would you like to do today? Like my inner child was like, I want to sleep in today and I want to play. And my adult was like, oh no, we have to do yoga. We have to do this. We have to do that. I'm on a rigid schedule. I have a whole list of things we have to do. And my child was like, no, we're going to sleep in. And because I heard it like, like two or three times, I was like, you know what? I'm going to let you sleep in. And then all day long, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to check out a museum for you and see if, you know, if you like it. Now the museum wasn't open but it led to me to like go, I'm gonna go off the beaten path and I'm gonna look at something in a different way. And when you realize, I have a lot, I'm having a lot of calls about the fear. Fear, 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 all these readings about the fear. Should I go to work? Should I get on the train? Should I take a plane? Do I, is my business gonna crash because nobody's gonna to come to my live events? And I wanna to say to all the light workers and the star seeds, this too shall pass. Keep the game high, keep your vibration high. Mother Teresa walked through the leopard colony and because she had so much love, she did not get sick. She didn't get sick. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh yes, I completely agree with that. Our immune system is our love. When a mother kisses a child's skinned knee, the knee heals quicker than medicine or a Band-Aid. Are you with me? Yes. So 
Have the conversation every day with your inner child. What does she want to do? Most of the time, she'll have a better plan than you and you'll get there faster and it'll be easier and it'll be a lot more fun. And the magic will roll out. And a couple times today, I did what she wanted. A couple times I did what I wanted. And I found out that what I wanted wasn't in the flow. When what she wanted was in the flow. And we went on this beautiful journey and things unfolded effortlessly. And not only did I get everything done I needed to get done, I did it in such a fun way. I, act I actually let go. And here's what happened. Time dissolved. Exactly. I got out of time. I was outside of time. I was inside of an expanded present moment, feeling joyful, feeling healthy. And I didn't see what everybody else is seeing. Exactly. And that, that's the time zone I live in a lot. <laughs> and, and, the, uh, the, and the flip side of that is, and I don't take it on, but you know, when we talk about, and I'm very practical and I'm very orderly, but is it possible to err on the side of living in that time zone where, you're, where the practicality of life uh, is uh, not being honored? Or do you know what I'm saying? I do, I do. Okay. Here's what I'd like to say is, um, do we play all day and have no responsibility? No. We play all day through our responsibility. Yes. So here's where the fool of the tarot comes in. The fool of the tarot understands they're the magician, they're the emperor, the empress, the high priestess, the hierophant. I mean, those are responsibilities. Everything. Yes. So, so here's what I want to say. Today, I, just to let go of my adult, I wrote down the things that had to get done. And then I talked to my inner child and I said, look, as long as we get these things done, we can weave and play the whole day long. And she said, you got it. So I paid a parking ticket. I tried to pay it on the phone, but it wouldn't go through like four times. And I was like, okay, I'm going to pull over, plug in my computer, sit where I can type it in and check it off. And then I did it. And then I needed to watch two documentaries for work. So I did that. And then I did a little study. But she mostly wanted me to play. So you know what she did? She got my daughter out of school as on a half day, which I didn't remember or know about. And once I got my things done, poof, the office called me and said, hey, your daughter said you might have forgot it's a half day. And I was like, this is so perfect. I got all my stuff done. And now it's like mandatory that I play. <laughs> So that's how it happened for me. Now, if you don't have a kid and you're still playing with your inner child and you let her know that every other thing that you're doing is going to be her choice, then you're weaving in and out of the playtime the grounded responsibilities. So it's almost like pay a ticket, go for a walk. Yeah, no, I get, I get that. And I, um, I can err on the side of, too serious so it's an interesting thing like uh, I like the weaving like the infinity loop because sometimes it's very all serious or all plague that's great that's a nice little dance it's a dance and when you do that then things magically come to you that you didn't expect would come to you you know like I because I picked her up early I had been really wanting to do a puppet show. And I didn't know when we were gonna have time to do the puppet show. But here's what happened. The school magically corresponded with my inner child and let her out early. My client this afternoon, two of them rescheduled. And I got to go home, come home early. And we had watched a, a little video that was the topic that we wanted to do the play on. And then immediately, boom, we did our puppet show. And like, 10 minutes and then we made it into a little film and then we put it on YouTube. Perfect. So two things happened because I was playing, I was very productive. And don't you know that plays are productions? Yes. No, no, no. I, I drip that my, I think one of my challenges is, is like, I can't keep up with the level of creative productivity that's flowing through me. Uh, 
and so I'm in constant creation mode. And for me, which is great because there was a season when it wasn't happening and now it's like an onslaught. And uh, yeah, no, 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 I, it, that's amazing. And I, interestingly enough, when you were in your, when you were speaking to us just at the beginning of the call, you were bringing up puppetry as well. And I've been thinking of, someone mentioned to me in an exploration of one of my, one of the three projects was talking about Julie Tamar's evolution with puppetry. I don't know if you know a lot about that, but like she went around and I think she did some shamanic work and she kind of stretched her creativity, then went back to Disney and created one of these greatest things by just playing in that space of possibility and so puppetry has been on my mind and I love that you do that. My, um, I grew up, I grew up, we did that at birthday parties, but it's so playful. The, the best thing about puppets, I'll tell you what, what it really is. The reason why it's shamanic is because it lends itself to channeling. Yes. Once, once you have that puppet, you're talking to your inner child. And I think that maybe what I'll recommend here for the homework for the people that are watching this is to make your own inner child puppet. And for you to have 45 minutes or an hour of free play time with your inner child puppet. And then you got to have that conversation. Now, about 25 years ago, when I started the boot camp, I had every one of my clients make sock puppets. And they had to bring their sock puppet to boot camp and they'd have to count their crunches one, two, three. And they'd have to do crunches and push ups. And the sock puppet would, you're doing great, keep going. You know, and it would be their, their like encourager. Very Jim Henson of you. That's hysterical. So I feel that when you get into the playfulness, your problems are resolved easier because you're in a bandwidth where you can actually hear the solutions that are the highest solutions for the problem because you're playing. When you worry and stress, you're limited to solve your problems. You think you're being more adult, but you're actually calcifying your pineal gland. You're squeezing it. And when you play, you're expanding and the reception goes all the way out to the furthest reaches and you can source for the probable realities through the play. It's a higher frequency. Now, do you remember it's a beautiful, it's a, um, a beautiful life? Not a wonderful life. It's a beautiful life. That, that, um, yes, the Italian film that won the Oscar where he basically helped his son get through that very hard time in life through play through play and don't you see like i mean that actor was a genius genius and he also i believe directed it Bert, 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 Bertelli, i forget his name but it was revelatory the way he took a difficult subject matter and played with it and it was devastatingly beautiful and let's just go into um let's just go into the comedy and tragedy masks while we're here as that's good. You're a thespian, right? So have you ever been at a funeral and something cracks you up and you're hysterical, but it's not appropriate to laugh? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And so there's some like levity in the Commedia del Arte. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, like in the darkest of times. And you know who's great at this? Let's go back. Monty Python. Yep. Right? The I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I just posted a John Cleese quote on laughter at howling being the force for democracy because it's such a unifier. It's also, it's also um, the physician. The healer, the healer is, the, is the jokester, the comedian. The one who makes you laugh brings the laughter medicine. Laughter boosts your immune system. So even if you're in a tight situation or you're overwhelmed with grief or something traumatic is happening, if you can find the humor somewhere and you laugh at, at yourself with it, you open up your heart, you, you create more space, resolutions come, you laugh at your you laugh at your situation. You just say the flat tire, the divorce, the disease, the whatever it is. If you can find the humor in the comedy, it, it does lighten up the field. You can feel lighter. That's why I thought it was really profound that they wanted to come in with that gold um, grain of sand. Because a grain of sand can be irritating. And at the same time, 
a golden nugget can be all the wisdom that you need that makes all the difference in the world based on your perspective. Right? Is it irritating the pearl or is it making it the pearl? Right. No, it was everything that I felt like this whole, I know it was for everybody that's going to watch this, but I felt your whole reading was on point because it's everything that's been in my system has all been about comedy and play and levity and breath and, <laughs> and just the ridiculous. I mean, even today, just to be very transparent, I had an experience where this is not like me, but, but uh, there is an old love and my GPS system told me to go to this one space in New York City to work on one of my stories. And this is, this is somebody that I've, has, the universe has brought back and he's hysterical. He is actually the person that makes me laugh probably more than anybody. But I, you know, you're not ready and I don't know what was going on. And I wasn't even thinking about it. And so like I'm walking along and I'm about to turn into this coffee shop and there he is in the window. And what do I do? I pretend like I don't see him and I keep, oh, I panic. And I can't, I'm laughing. I'm, I'm I'm totally embarrassed. I don't know if you saw me, but I'm like, I'm like, I just keep walking and there's no one else in the street. It's just me. There's no way he couldn't see me. And I thought that when I, when I walked away, I like dropped into myself. I'm like, A, why did that make me so nervous? But it was hysterical because there's no way he couldn't have seen me. It was also hysterical that of all of the, I mean, it's like moonstruck of all the different places in the city and the world that one coffee shop that happens to be the one and I panic and I run. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. In your playfulness, you created him. <laughs> I mean, and it's not like he, I mean, it's such a, like an innocent, beautiful thing. There's, there's no dramatic, it's such a sweet moment. And my, my little child heart got super shy and she like ran away. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it was like such a, sweet sweet put possibility yeah so it was very funny so next time it was like a rom-com moment next time when you create <sighs> and your little child is even shy to create play with being shy and send him a drink from somebody anonymous like play like play every day and this is for everyone listening. And this, I'm saying it to myself because I'm everyone and you're everyone and we're all everyone. We're saying it to ourselves. I'm just an aspect of the one saying the same thing to myself. Play every day as if this is the only day to play. There isn't a tomorrow. There's just today. There's only now. So you flirt with him now. You send him the coffee now. You play with him now. You tease him now. You do peekaboo now. Because that's what we're doing. We're playing hide and seek with the universe. Ah, uh, that's gorgeous. I love that. <laughs> So to wrap this up in our last two minutes is that everything's already done. Your only requirement is to come here and play. That's what your requirement is. I remember talking to my daughter when she was around three or four and she used to tell me, mommy, I go to heaven on um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and I have lunch with the Virgin Mary and I she plants the little star babies in the dirt and I talk to her and I was like oh well that's wonderful uh, you know do you talk to God she's like yeah I talk to God and I go can you ask God a question for me and she goes yeah all the little babies get up in a line and then they can ask God any question and I said what's you know like what is the purpose of being on earth and I might have said this in the first channel and she said to me to play and have fun And so, like, that's from a three-year-old. That's what it is. That's what it is at three, at five, at 35, at 55, at 105, at 1,005. That's what it is. To the immortals, they will tell you, lest ye be like little children, you shall not see the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is within. The imagination is within. Peter Pan says, don't grow up, lost boy. Don't get lost, right? Christopher Robbins says, hey, Pooh, remember, I, you know, remember the Thousand Acre Woods, come back and remember to do nothing. When you do nothing, you expand and you go into that timeless place where all the magic happens, where the puppets get recreated, where the movies get made, where the stories get said, where the songs get sung, where the dances get danced. 
all of that comes out of the expansive nothingness, the void. Metaphysically, literally, it comes from the nothing. So when we're so busy doing the something, we can't expand into the nothing. So the play is the lubricant to get into the nothing. And that returns us to our innocence, into our inner child. And that's why when we're older, you'll see the elderly start to become like little children again. They sit and they play games and they do a lot of nothing. That's that dimension where everything gets created from, from the nothing to the now thing. And they're very flirty and mischievous rascals. <laughs> right. <laughs> they really are. They become Monty Python. Right. And so shall we. So shall we. So shall we, the me that's all the we's. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to say thank you so much for hanging in there. And thank you for holding the light in New York. And thank you for reminding us of the fairy and the mermaid magic and the songs and the doing work in the parks of New York and the creating and the flirting and the magic and the flow and more, more, more. Let there be more. Shine your inner light like, like the hermit, but go into Central Park and, and do a monologue. Do your um, Robin Williams monologue. Go in there and do a sonnet. Sing a love song just for the heck of it. I mean, remember singing in the rain? Just imagine singing in the rain, like no matter who's there, because you are. You know, I, I think Zorba said it best. Until you show a little bit of madness, you're too tethered to this constricted reality to know who you truly are. So play into that. Play into the jester and the fool of your own life. So this is Athena Starcy. I love you very much. I want to put a link below for those of you who are interested uh, in finding a little more information. But I bless you to the level of your inner allowing and the quest, the quest of the Holy Grail is to go get that inner child, make your little inner child puppet and play every day. You get to have a play date. I get to have a play date with my inner child every single day and watch how the reality turns back into gold. Blessings and light. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And the star beings are so happy that we're remembering that we're all children. Thank you so much. Really stunningly beautiful. Thank you. You are so welcome.